today is what day today's wednesday yeah today's wednesday i'm off to work i'm based at ubs um today i need to get a thank you gift for three of my mentors who really helped me out a lot this year it just you know just gave me so much guidance and help whenever i needed it so yeah i'm gonna get them something from fortnum mason today it shouldn't take me too long because i've been there before and i know exactly what i want however what i am excited for today is for the England match. We are playing against Croatia today, which is ah! England, England have been really strong for this World Cup, but they're not known to be. Hopefully they continue and we will win and then we're in the finals, which means we're going to be playing France because France won their semi-final yesterday. And I'll see you in the afternoon after work. So this is the Royal Academy of Arts, which is opposite Fort and Mason. And I just thought I'd show you, I'm not going inside, but I just thought I'd show you guys what there is here. Um, it's free to enter, I believe, but there are some exhibitions which you have to be a member for to enter. The area of London I find so pretty is Burlington Arcade. Most of these stores are designer stores. Good morning everyone. So today is Saturday and I'm on my way to my parents' house. I've got another bag actually. Let me show you. I've got, I've got another bag of trousers that I want my dad to shorten for me for my graduation because it's a bit too long. I got them from Zara and they're just way too long. It's still really early, it's only 8.45 in the morning. I like starting my day nice and early. So we're currently at Stratford and I'm tempted to go into Westfield but I'm telling myself no because whenever I do that I always end up spending money and I don't need to spend any more money on clothes. So this is my sibling store. They've got popcorn, slime they made. Carrot cake is our carrot cake. Where's carrot cake? Carrot cake, carrot cake. Yeah. amazing. Yeah, carrot cake's all done. They've got brownies, like absolutely amazing brownies. Brownies are competing with carrot cake. Yeah. <laughs> Instant snow. The oh, they've got this. Yeah. What's this again? It's uh, lemonade. mint lemonade. Yeah. yeah, so this is their <laughs> store. Oh my God. Some posh water over here. What? How many um, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in. Oh, you in? And slide. Okay. Ah. It was such a pleasure to go to the festival in my area. I've lived there since I was born, and I just moved last year when I got married. And it's like all the roads are connected to the area, know each other. We've all lived there for like 30 years or more, um, and it's just really nice to be able to see people that I used to go to school with when I was like two, three, four, all the way to secondary school and it's crazy to see how everyone's lives have like progressed. Some people are still in education, some people have got three kids and it's just like, it's just insane and it was just so nice to reconnect. My dad's been there for like 40 years in the same house and so has everyone else and it's just, we don't, you don't get that now in London, like in flats everyone kind of like does their own thing and everyone's so unsocial and Everyone's so temporary, it's just so temporary like housing now, whereas it's it, like the community in my area is just so... I want to make it for dinner today, so I'm going for a chickpea curry with some rice. So I've got the chickpeas, I have the spices, so I have some paprika, cumin, coriander and some curry powder. Tomatoes and onions are there and then I'm about to pour this, that and some coconut milk into this mixture and then I'll get back to you. I had to change the pan because the other one was too shallow and as you can see the coconut milk all spilt basically but it's okay. I've just transferred it to this for now and as you can see I've got my coconut milk, I have my chickpeas and then all the spices so I think I'm pretty much just going to add some salt and pepper um, and then just leave it to to cook and this will evaporate um, usually the coconut milk evaporates a little bit and then it becomes a lot more creamier and a lot more kind of curry like so as you can see the consistency has changed a lot so it's gone quite thick and much more curry like and I think it's ready it's pretty much done because the chickpeas don't take very long to cook um, I was just waiting for the 
coconut milk to evaporate. I also boiled some sweet potato, which I'm going to add to it now. That should give a little different kind of texture, and then it's all done. Just add some coriander and a bit of lemon and a bit of Good morning from me and 7.30 a.m. So I'm off to London Zoo this morning. Many attractions in London that I haven't visited, like the huge, the popular tourist ones. Like I've been to most of them because when family and friends come over, I always take them there. But London Zoo is one of the ones that I haven't been to. So I'm excited to go and visit it today. I haven't been there before, so I don't know the exact location, but I believe it's not far from Camden Town. <laughs> So I am back home, I've just washed my face and I feel so much more refreshed. I was absolutely bucketing it down with sweat today. Definitely a whole day out if you take your time and then you sit down and have a picnic for lunch. Definitely a whole day out if you leave in the morning and then come back in the evening. It can be a whole lovely day out. If you go there, definitely check out what's going on on the day because there are like live demonstrations such as the penguin feeding. I think it's twice, happens twice in a day. So definitely go check that out because it's nice to actually see some live action going on. Um, there are also other kind of shows and um, demonstrations. What else? There's also, oh, there's also a night uh, London Zoo event so I believe it's every Friday and it's only for adults so definitely go and check that out if you don't want to be surrounded by children like I was there's a DJ and other like comedy and things like that but like adult rated things so if you're interested in going at a time where there are no children then highly recommend that on Fridays um, also don't go during the school day because it's just full of schools and primary schools and secondary schools uh, if you do go go after like 3 or 4 p.m. when the schools have gone back to school gone back home so I'll catch you guys later maybe I'll show you guys what I make for dinner if I make anything spectacular probably not hey everyone good morning it is Tuesday what time is it 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday and guess what we are off to Kew Gardens so we both have a day off work today and we're off to Kew Gardens because we've always wanted to go there and today's a good day because it's not a it's a working day so everyone hopefully we're hoping that it'll be a bit emptier than usual so yeah this is what I'm wearing I it's a bit cooler today so I think it's about 20 degrees ish today 21 so I've gone for these trousers that I haven't worn before. I got them in a the Topshop sale. Nice, Kew Gardens is somewhere. I think I feel like I've been there once before when I was really young, but I haven't been there in my adulthood or even in my adolescence years. So should be nice to go and discover it. I will see you guys when I get there. Thank you. spices of the royals that they, of what they used to use so we've got coriander we've got nutmeg and all sorts so this is the kitchen and there's a bathtub because apparently what it says here is uh, George III was advised by his doctors to take warm baths and the reason why he left the bathtub in the kitchen is to save his servants from taking the hot water all the way from here where it boiled to his house the original tales, this is from the 1730s. Wow. Um, and you can see also where they've tried to sort of patch it up because it would have been quite expensive, these two enormous pieces of wood. And then over time, the wood has shrunk, 
and cool. So gap in the middle where they've tried to just sort of stick something in because you don't want the food or the shape. Mm. We were just in the royal kitchen. Pretty much that was their kitchen and it's like a house but it's uh, it has a room where their china was washed, it has a room where they have a bath, it has a room where they eat, where their meat is prepared, where it's stored, um, pots and pans are washed. This house back here, they actually used to live and then their food was taken from here and then taken to the Queen's house and that's where they would actually live. So it's about, it's about 45 seconds, maybe a minute away, not even that. This is the home of King George III and his family. And it's really beautiful. It's so grand. We have pretty much seen everything. So what we do, okay, this is what I recommend. When you go anywhere, get the map of the place that you're going to and then highlight all the places that you want to go um, primarily like your key attraction then from there you know the route that you're going to take and then you kind of like will go from there and then if there are other things that you want to see along the way then you can definitely stop but then at least you haven't missed anything and you're not kind of going backwards and forth so that's kind of how I work around places when I go somewhere oh, look at this peacock dick I know Wow, it's like it's wearing a dress. We found the walkway, so luckily there is a lift that takes you up, but you can walk all the way around. Just got home and I'm about to defrost some salmon to make for dinner because we didn't really have a proper meal today and um, we had like only a sandwich. Things at Kew Gardens are super expensive, like literally like a salmon. A bit of salmon and a bit of salad was like £12, which is ridiculous. I can go to a nice restaurant for that much money. So we didn't really have much to, to eat, we just had something like kind of little. Um, so yeah, this meal is going to be well deserved. Kew Garden is just a beautiful, serene location with nature, plants of all types from all over the world. Um, botanics. There are buildings that you can learn something from and there's also a gallery where you can go and look at some art if you so wish. Um, we didn't. But then there's also obviously the nature and the grass and the greenery. So you have got a nice balance and there's something for everyone. I really, I truly believe there's something for everyone at Kew Gardens. It's a beautiful day for Kew Gardens today. It was very mild. So there's just this slight undertone of breeze and the sun was still there. Kind of went in and out a little bit, a bit cloudy at times. For the most part, it was really sunny and just the most ideal day at Kew Gardens. I would highly recommend going there for a day out or, you know, if you're going to show, if you want to just have a relaxing day. One thing I'd recommend is take yourself some lunch if you're not willing to pay the extortionate prices at Kew Gardens. The vlog is going to launch sometime at the end of this week, I'm hoping. So when it does, I will let you guys know and everything will be up in terms of where to go, places to see, this curtain doing things to do, things to do, places to see in London, outside of London, and everything will be there. And if you are a long-time subscriber, you remember that I had my blog, um, I'm in place.com. I've literally just moved it and changed its domain name, but it's the same. I've just changed the way it looks and I've edited everything, and I'm hoping that you guys are gonna love it and it's gonna be more kind of user-friendly because I felt like it was getting a little bit polluted. We're having an exciting event that I'm attending. Um, from Instagram so they have an IGTV event to maximize your IGTV viewing and um, your audience things like that so hopefully I'll let you guys know how it went and take you guys with me of course it's after work so it's like 6 I think it's like 6 30 p.m. Um, so actually in shortage are new then do subscribe I would love to have you join my channel and um, don't forget to follow me on my social media Instagram is simply underscore Amina and my Twitter is I am in a place and that's it. Um, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.